But uh, but yeah, that's uh, let's get a run going. Hello, vibrant vibrants and uh, Ryan Croft as well. Hello to you. Nice to see you guys here. Hope you're doing great. Okay, war drums like that, and let's uh, start our journey in three, two, one, boom. Do some cutscene skipping. Very good. Just making sure my setup is perfect here. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wiganwell Post. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate it. You in a second. <laughs> I try my best. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... To, uh, yeah, try my best to make it enjoyable. Attacking a cat. Sometimes I, I know that my commentary is a little lackluster, but that's usually either because I'm I'm very focused or not focused at all. <laughs> you know, especially for a game like this, there are segments with a lot of stuff happening where you really need to focus for like the combat and stuff and then other parts where it's almost dead content so you can commentate a little bit more or just zone completely out and completely forget to commentate because you're so bored <laughs> but mostly it's it's a fun run for sure Lots of uh, stuff happening and a lot of stuff that can go wrong as well. Not so much here in the beginning, just a lot of cutscenes and forced dialogue and, and stuff like that. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roads. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day I... I do prefer games like this where you have a good mixture of both and I high intensity high intensity stuff um mixed with very low intensity stuff where you can try and have fun with chat and stuff absolutely um, sir so yeah intro here is definitely one of the more dull parts where you can uh, try and have a conversation going uh, even the high Active stuff like the rolling here is really not that intense. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form. So here we're gonna try and stay in front of Fick. Yes. So he doesn't slow us down. By a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Oh my god, you're so slow at talking. And is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But yeah, more just. Why was your wife searching for boring stuff here? Trying to break some pots. Why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world? Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different. This segment here really reminds me of uh, the cuts, the, the cutscenes in in Half Life Two, where you're just waiting around and uh, waiting for people to talk. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It... But you can still interact with stuff. Someone wanted. To... There aren't too many of these in the run. Let's see some of well, the ones that are. There are. We can actually do useful the... stuff. So yeah, a little bit more of it here, but at least we can actually utilize this time a little bit better. We need to wait a little bit here for Fick to cross under the bridge. Otherwise, he won't progress in his uh, talkings. 56 coins there is pretty good. Oh, 
Now we wait for him here to uh, going into an actual cutscene where we can't do anything. Steady yourself. Reparo. And again here. Now we're gonna try and roll and stay in front of him. Um, because if he is in front of us. He gonna slow us down. Ah, okay, he made it in front of us. Oh, come on, Vic, please. There I walk a little bit or run a little bit before doing the last roll. As there is a trigger for this slow walking animation. And uh, we want to roll as far into it as possible. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Not a big deal, but everything adds up in the end. We have a little dialog box come up here. We can start rolling again. And again here, try to roll as far into this segment as possible. Professor Fig. The last one here matters more than the first one, for sure. But again, it's it's fragments of seconds. Why would we try to shave off here in the beginning? And how is there a room behind the start is not the greatest, but uh, the main fine differences are coming up while inside Gringotts. So not a big deal right now. We'll, uh, but but it will be in a little bit. Godric's heart. Where are we? So now we're going to talk to a goblin. Let's skip some cutscenes. Here we are. And uh, more cutscenes that we can't skip. The small one, but it's there. When was the last time this so now we're gonna walk over to the second chest of this intro area. In that time, no one There's not a lot of gold that we get from these, but they uh, are quite useful here in the in the beginning um, because we need to buy a Maxima potion uh, before the first so-called boss fight, which is the uh, troll in Hogsmeade. Uh, later on, we will get a bunch of money from the uh, disillusionment chests. Okay, 62, that's pretty good. Gives us a 180. That's quite, quite a lot for, for this intro. I wonder if you might um, each of the chests can give you between like 25 to 75 coins. Uh, so we definitely high roll here, which is lovely. Um, the more money you get from these chests, the better, because that means you have to sell less gear uh, in order to buy the Maxima, and you can hopefully save some of the really good gear. Yes. Instead of having to sell it. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Potentially good gear. Where do we a lot of the gear that we get will be random. So uh, yeah. Rebellion. Hello Lily. Thanks for the good luck. There. Appreciate it. Something. Move a bit closer and try again. The Revelio here is a uh, spell that we're going to use quite a lot um, to reveal field guide pages, which we will we'll be introduced to in like 10 minutes or so, uh, a little less. And uh, the reason why we need those is because they give some a good amount of XP, uh, especially for the amount of time it takes to, uh, to get them. And XP is very important in this run because some of the late game quests are locked behind a level requirement. Um, and this is one of the main differences in how people run this game. The XP routing. Um, and a lot of time can be saved by optimizing the route you get XP. Not out of Gringotts. So here we needed to wait for a certain part of the dialogue. It's a very big 
I see. window to start rolling. Um, that glow again. That's not a big deal. Lumos. What happened? <clears throat> when I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground. So now we're gonna learn our first proper spell. We've already gotten the basic cast and Revelio. Um, but most spells that we learn will be able to be put on our spell wheel or uh, our spell bar. I see some sort of. And the first one we're gonna learn that we can do that with is Lumas in just a second. I presume. Uh, and we're gonna try and do a Lumos glitch uh, with it, where as soon as we've learned it, a text box will pop up that prompt us on how to do it or how to use it. Um, but if we can manage to cast the spell before that pops up, we can uh, start the animation of the night here a little early, uh, as well as skip a text block later on because of a little glitch. We're gonna spam one here. Didn't get it, but it's what it is. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does. It saves about three or four seconds getting it. So not the biggest deal, but it's nice to get. Okay, so now we need to focus a little bit and uh, hope that Fig doesn't destroy all of the the knights too fast because we need them to attack and uh, so we can Protego. So we need him to walk a little further forward there. That's pretty good. Okay, and one more. That's really good. That was really smooth. Very nice. Now we need to wait for uh, the next segment. Can't really do anything here. And there. There's still an invisible barrier here. Professor! Professor Fig. And now we're on our own. We need to do some more combat. Where am I supposed to go? Ah, that's where they're leading. What's happening? I suppose I'm on my own this time. Very good. Now we need to destroy these three statues. Now we'll learn Stupendo. Or Stupefy, sorry. Not Stupendo. What am I talking about? Uh, we need to do three of those Stupefy counters. We do that by simply holding in Potato. But it's uh, slower than just attacking normally or uh, doing normal Potato, I mean. That was pretty damn good. That was basically two perfect fights. <laughs> Very nice. That's gonna save some good time. And now we, uh, Get to the end of the intro and uh, what, need to watch some cutscenes or need to skip some cutscenes. Uh, and then watch a long unskillable cutscene. Shut up, Lily. <laughs> the pendo. That's pretty decent. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Could have been better, but pretty decent. That's mainly the. Uh, Stuff before Gringotts that we lost time to here. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the music a little bit.
<laughs> very good, very good. Anything sub-15 I'm quite happy with, usually. For for the intro here. But yeah, it's 15 minutes where at most you can save or lose 10-15 seconds, so... Not that big of a deal. But you have to get used get get through it. <clears throat> Some more cutscenes, a little bit of unskillable stuff here. We haven't missed the sorting uh, ceremony. And then skipping stuff. And then we uh, get put into our house. Appropriate. And uh, we choose to uh, get put in Ravenclaw for uh, two reasons. Uh, it has a pretty decent um, house location or a dormitory location. Um, but the most important part is that the uh, house specific quest that we uh, will do a little bit later on um, is the fastest among all of the houses. So obviously we want to do that one. Uh, as well as we get the most XP during that quest. Like there's a few pages that we can get. Looks like everyone's that gone. we can't get as much XP during the other houses. I suppose some introductions are in now we get to meet our housemates. But we don't have time to do that, so we just skip through all of the dialogue. Like you would in Basically, any other speed run that you can do that in, um, and to I'm not sure this is the advance way. a little faster after we talk to this girl, we will restart from last checkpoint. Hey there. Or last save, which will put us closer to our next point. As well as make sure that Weasley is down here because uh, she has a tendency to go down to the boys' dormitory for some reason, which is lovely. And that uh, is a much slower this way. way of, of talking to her. Will give you opportunities to practice your magic um, I don't know. I, I haven't played enough games this year to, to know if it's game of the year, but it's, it's definitely a contender for it. Um, I think it's a great game, but it did lack a little bit in the story department, in my opinion. Rebellion. And I think a lot of people agree with that. Ooh, got the roll there. Clever. So here we uh, do these attack jumps to... I don't know, generate speed or keep speed uh, when jumping. Generate speed when jumping, I guess. Uh, otherwise, it we move much slower and uh, it looks cool. <laughs> we don't do this very often, mainly only now and, and after this little bit here, um, because it's very rare that we're actually locked to a slow movement speed. Oh yeah, Elden Ring is not... Uh, I was that's way older. Oh, oh, way older. It's definitely older. But there are other good games that was released this year. Uh, anyway, next up here we are gonna do a uh, very important glitch called Page Glitch, where we try to overlap the uh, what's it called? The prompt to pick up a page with the prompt to uh, open up a specific menu and that will uh, really confuse the game and uh, put us in a glitch state where we can open up menus and have cutscenes and stuff happen in the background. Uh, basically not have the game paused while we have the menu open. Uh, sp speeding up a lot of things. So I'm going to focus a little bit here, just real quick. That should be good. Uh, 
So basically the game freezes there, so we need to uh, restart from last save, and we lose about 15 to 20 seconds. Um, but it's very much worth it because we save that very quickly again. Whoops, ran the wrong way around the fountain. Not a big deal. Now we need to wait again for this prompt here. And it is time for our first class. First, we're gonna pick up a few of these flu flames. Because we need them later on. Flu flames are very important, very important in this run um, to minimize the time you need to move around both the castle and the, and the grounds around Hogwarts and the Highlands. Now we learn Levioso. Like that. Lies of P looks fun. I want to try it. I don't know what Lies of P is. Have you ever played Darksiders 2? No, I, I haven't played a lot of modern AAA games, actually. With basic... uh, because, well, oh, I forgot. I need to do basic cast. <laughs> this time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. Oh, it's a Dark Souls game. I don't think we're gonna get a story expansion. I think we're gonna get a Hogwarts Legacy 2, basically. All right, so here we get a need to get into a duel here, but instead of breaking his shield with Levioso, we're gonna do it with a perfect Patego because then we can use Levioso to actually uh, throw him off instead of depleting his health bar, which takes a lot longer. Okay, skip some dialogue here. Nice work. Talk to Sebastian and then move on to our next class, um, which is going to be Charms. Next time. That was good. Okay, very nice. And uh, along the way to most things, we're going to try and get as much free XP as we can. So picking up pages like that. Uh, sometimes we're also going to go a little bit out of our way to pick up a flu flame like this one here. Because we need to return here later and it's very close to right on the way. So now we learn Accio, which is a very important spell as well. Uh, every time we reveal a page uh, it is faster to use Accio than to wait for the animation to finish and picking it up by clicking on the F prompt. People really want the next game to be set with Tom Riddle, but I really want it to be set with the founders of Hogwarts. I don't know what I want. I wouldn't mind just being a completely independent point in, in, the, in the history. So like in 16 something something, that would be fine with me. I don't need it to be set into a, sto a point where about something we already know. Founders could be fine, for sure. All right, so here is where we're going to utilize the uh, page glitch for the first time. The game is still playing in the background and we're going to set the FPS to uh, 30 because for some reason that makes uh, Natty's uh, balls move much faster when she uh, pu pu pulls them towards her, um, making her turns much, much faster. Like you literally save 15, 20 seconds by changing the FPS down to... Uh, 30 instead of 120. Let us see this. Like the ancient magic stuff? Yeah, I, I don't mind that either. I think it's cool, especially the ancient magic throws. It's it's so satisfying. I love using uh, like disarming an enemy and then throwing their own weapon at them. It's so good. <laughs> But yeah, we just, we don't need to win these. We just need to have our balls move as little as possible to spend the least amount of time rolling as possible. 
which is nice. So, yeah, now it becomes a little bit more interesting with these boxes. And uh, Natty has a tendency to only want to pull her balls towards her when after the boxes have moved past the middle. Um, but she's very picky on when to do it. So, like, there, for example, it, she took a little, little bit longer than I would have liked. Um, and uh, we can't really do the same trick as we did before. That'll stop the ball right in the track of the boxes, which is not really good. Okay, that was good. She uh, pulled that one very fast, which is nice. That is how it's done. With this one, we're going to try and aim in between here. Perfect. Keep trying. Okay, so that was really good, Natty. Uh, Accio's here. Which was very lovely. So this last one we are going to uh, do like that, and then we could do this. Let's do the best of us. And uh, bam, put it back to 120 FPS. So that was really good, uh, Summer's Court. Both of you, well done. Should save quite a bit of time here. Might even be a gold. Because I always thought it would be really cool to be the one, will be one of the very first students to ever attend Hogwarts in the next game. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That would be uh, kind of cool, I guess. To see how much or how different everything looks and is at that time, at that point in time. A word, if you would. Can use Akio and humans. Well. Hello. That is a gold and uh, very nice. So that's a good start to a run. So, some of the other pages that are to be found are flying pages and Levioso pages like that. Later on, we'll also have some uh, fire dragon statues, braziers that we need to light on fire to get some, uh, some pages like that. So here we're just going to go up here, get this flu. And move on oh, to the next task or class, which is actually one we're going to more or less skip the entirety of. Uh, it's the only quest where we can actually do this. Um, I'm going to start the quest and immediately open up the map and uh, teleport away. And that just, for some reason, completes the quest. Uh, it has been patched. Uh, so we are playing on an older patch here. So if you got the game on your own home PC or on PlayStation or something, you can't really do this right now. Unfortunately, unless you down patch on PC. So Rowan in here wants us to collect some flying pages, which we of course gonna do. But we also have some other pages that we would like, because they are right here. And now he's going to learn us, or teach us, sorry, uh, Reparo. Remember, your wand is a conduit. Which is absolutely useless, apart from the times when the game wants us to repair whatever thing that needs to be repaired to progress the story. Yeah, it, it is not very useful. Yeah. Apart from those times. That's it. Very good. Doing a little roll there to get through or still be moving doing that text box. Revelio. Accio. Very nice. Gonna pick up a few of these uh, chests lying around in hopes of getting some good uh, offensive gear that we can uh, ha help us deal some more damage. Fortunately, there was only money in that one, which isn't the worst. It's better than getting Wigan Well potions, which is the healing potion of the game.
you get introduced to it very early on, uh, but I was talking about other stuff at the time. So now we need to have uh, Natty show us the way to Hawksmead. Uh, and while we are close to her, we can't sprint, so we need to be rolling, uh, which is slower than sprinting, but still faster than just jogging. Um, but since it's only when we're close to her, we're gonna take a little bit of a detour so we can actually be sprinting. Um, and the good thing in this game is that as long as we're sprinting, she will be sprinting as well, which is uh, very nice. Or she'll always try to catch up to us, basically. She'll do uh, two stops before we get there. The first one being here. And uh, we need to wait for her to talk, so we're just gonna pick up some lace wing flies for good luck. Interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. So we uh, go this way again to get away from her so we can start sprinting. If you do some stumbling on those rocks before getting to this bridge, she can catch up to you. Um, but if you know what you're doing and take the same route every time, it's usually not a problem. But it can happen. Do you have a least favorite character in this game? Ooh, that's a good question. Ah, uh, Everett. <laughs> His voice is just annoying, and uh, you have to listen to it during the entire flying class. I confess, I was surprised when Professor. There might be others, but right now it's it's Everett. He's he's really annoying. I don't really remember every character that is in this game because, well. I haven't really... It's been a while since I played it casually. So there's a lot of the story beats that I'm not remembering. Now we need to wait for Natty to catch up a little bit. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? Okay, so we haven't gotten any offensive gear yet, which is a little annoying, but uh, not that big of a deal. Hello, Mr. Moon. So, oh, whoops, we gotta delete this here. Don't need these. Hey, she'll be at the cars always. Good luck to both of you. Oh, I hope that worked. It did work. Let's go. Oh, come on. That's very nice. So sometimes Natty can just like want to not run with you at all, which is really annoying. <clears throat> so we're gonna run a bit ahead, a bit ahead of Natty here. Also, this cloth is amazing. Ah, didn't get the. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. So now we have some uh, errands here in Hawksmead. Oh, that's a good drop we get there. First, we buy a wand. What do you think? Now we need to avoid a death stare. Nice, we didn't get it. This is a really good start. Um, the run is very long and a lot of stuff can happen, so don't jinx it just yet. <laughs> Rebellion. Accio. I hope I, I should be able to PB, but uh, you never know. Okay, that's also a good drop. That's two offensive gears. We want uh, hand items, neck items, and back items. So gloves, scarves, and ropes or cloaks. Look at what we have, shall we? Um, 
Nothing like finding if you're interested in order to take a look around at the rest. Get the most out of this. While running through here, we're still gonna grab all of these pages. That's a lot of them here in Hogsmeade. Come on, thank you. Welcome to Pippen's push okay, that is actually insane. <laughs> We've gotten really good items here. Three um, offensive gears. Do for you? Or three offensive gear. I uh, I accidentally sold something that I didn't want to sell. Uh, we're gonna sell you. Or I deleted something I didn't want to delete, which is annoying, but it's fine. Should have kept at least one of the black items. Well, hello there. So here, while after talking to him, we can cast Revelio before this stuff pops up, saving a little bit of time. Grab you. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Matty. And reset to get to our next location. One of the magical creatures I really would have loved to see in this game would be Mer People. Uh, I. You don't necessarily meet the mer people, um, but they are there. Like you, Rebellion. there's a quest surrounding or about them, where you help somebody get in contact with the mer people or something like that. If I recall correctly, it's been a while since I've done the side quests. Maybe I'm misremembering something. Come on, stop it. Revelio, Accio. Revelio, Accio. So, just gonna grab some more pages here. Revelio, Accio. Clear that. Oh. And restart from last save to put us back into the town square. I'm gonna go grab one last page. Over here before we talk to Natty. As well as you. Okay, didn't get anything. It's okay. We did get some gloves and we got a Bag item. Maybe I should have sold the bag item now that I think about it because we're gonna get a free five offense bag item in a second. Yeah. Uh, I was a lot of people. Uh, well, not a lot, but a couple of people. Uh, I've definitely helped figuring out strats and stuff. But there are some very talented people in this community that have been really doing a lot of work in trying to route out this game. Oops. So now we're just gonna drink a Maxima Potion. And uh, throw some barrels and boxes at him. Took him long enough. Yes, we need to make sure he stays there we go. Very nice. Yo, Dix. Speaking of people who've been uh, doing a great work in uh, optimizing the game. Overall, cape and gloves, you look like a superhero. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Thanks for the good luck. So now the troll has made a lot of mess here. And uh, we're asked to clean up. Which we can do with our... Newly learned Repero. Also, Natty is a little, uh... I will see what he wants. She invades my space a little too much there. Don't like it. <laughs> and there we go. Rebellion. Ah. Thing for to worry about. 
We were just about Gonna grab some more pages here. Accio. Oh, those are good. We like that. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. I you have a sharp eye for fashion. Dr. Natty here. Oh, we need to go this way. Battle-worthy items. Should you go out here? Rebellion. Grab a few more pages. Rebellion. We have some cutscenes that need to be skipped. I think that now and a few more pages, and then we are done with the first day. Which has gone really well, if I may say so myself. Oh, whoops. Rebellion. Very nice, very nice. That's going to be a good time save here. Almost a gold, even. Now we need to go to find Fick in his classroom. Really do think in the game should have added. Hang on a second. I need to focus a little bit here. Uh, I should add the ability for us to sit down with all the st other students, like in the Great Hall or in our common room. Oh yeah, for sure. That's weird that that's a, an oversight that they've made. Can't just chill. I'll let Professor. It is what it is. Oh yeah, we had a really good crossed ones in our PB. It's gonna be a little bit scary. We do have some decent gear here, so maybe it's not too bad, but uh, definitely not great. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Definitely kills the role playing. I'm not that big into role playing and stuff, uh, but I can definitely appreciate uh, what it can do for people. Revelio, Accio. Where are you? There you are. Can I help you? So now we need to focus a little bit. And uh, duel. We'll make you. Leviosa and Gringo. Potato, is that all you've got? Leviosa. Leviosa. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Accidentally used Levioso on a uh, defeated person. That was pretty good. Hope to see you back here again. Rebellion. Oh, whoops. Yeah. 
Okay, only lost two seconds, that's really good. Gonna lose a little bit here because that was not ideal movement. But... Oh, water spell? Oh yeah, that's actually true, there's no water spells. Kinda weird. Good one. To be honest, I think there's plenty of spells in this game. Don't really need it. But it could have been cool to have a water spell for your planters and stuff in, in the room of requirement. That you would need that. Yeah. Ready to get thrashed. Okay, another duel, which is slightly harder. Oops. I like to just uh, circle or, or juggle between who I'm attacking here. To help have my partner deal more damage. Nice, okay. That was pretty good. Didn't take any damage, which meant that I was able to attack the entire time, which is really lovely. The next round is for all the gobstones. Didn't have quite as good gear as in my PB. Assignment's all finished. So that's where I lost some time, but uh, we got some legendary gloves there, which is lovely. Yeah. Any and all offensive gear is, is always nice to get. Now we get to learn Incendio. So yeah, we get two fire spells and an exploding spell, but no water spell to put out the flames we we, we created. <laughs> ah, there you are. So Shall we proceed? So now we need to go back to let's get some cards there. I know we have four trials with the keepers, but if we could have a trial with Isadora designing it, that would be fun and scary. I've always said to travel broad Yeah, I guess. But I think it makes more sense to just have the four keepers be the trial masters and whatnot okay we actually have a lot of time to save here which is lovely yeah. <clears throat> just need to focus a little bit and... huh. that's a great freeze frame here <laughs> 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 Totally not of my crutch or anything. Akio. Where, 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 where are you? There you are. Now we're gonna run here. That's great. They are not the greatest prefects at uh, stopping us <laughs> at all. <laughs> we'll just run past them. Key. Here it is. Librarian isn't the sharpest knife in the in the in the drawer either. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book? Ghost, don't let her see you. Neither is the ghost here. So Very good. What is it you've been looking for? Revelio. That should basically guarantee a, a good time save here. Why do you think we'll find a cure in the restricted section? 
Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? So, for uh, a lot of the run, the main use of disillusionment charm... No, no, that's not true. But a big portion of the disillusionment charm we, that we use is to uh, grab those eye chests because they give us 500 gold, which is quite a lot and very much necessary for, for the run because uh, there's a lot of stuff that we need to buy. Uh, and buying stuff is just generally faster. Oh, can't even equip that yet. New little friend. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Should get high enough level after this quest to Peeves. equip it. No. I'm really sorry I have to go, but good luck with the ru with your run. I know you'll do great. Just the spell to Hopefully I'll be back in an hour. That's cool, man. Thanks for the uh, for the good luck. Oh wow, a legendary item for that from that chest. That's kind of rare. Okay, that's good. We actually needed a scarf. There must be more to this run. And we have a legendary item down here. Please be a bag item. Okay. That's okay. Can't really use it, but it's fine. We can't use the hat either, actually. Probably gonna equip it, but no, no I'm not. No, I don't think about it. Not really useful at all. Not surprising. Cards at the ready. Good. So yeah, we don't need to beat those. We just activate the bridge and run past. To where? And here we need to first wait a little bit and then hit it again. So it moves back when we are on it. Okay, that is a very useful, useless item. Here I'm just gonna try and focus on throwing the knights off the uh, the ledge here. That guy, last guy was too close to uh, to the to me or too far away from the edge to where it didn't matter. But uh, throwing them off is generally the faster way to kill them, uh, and they don't give any XP when they die, so there's no re real reason to kill them. Good morning or afternoon in Narnia. <laughs> Hello, giraffes. Good to see you. Hope you're doing great. But yeah, this has been a really good uh, restricted section. Really, really good. And it actually is a gold. Holy moly, this is a good start to a run. So now we have a... Uh, Fairly long conversation between Fig and Sharp, the potions professor, where we can uh, equip some of the items that we've gotten. So grab you. Okay, nothing in there. So, okay, we still can't equip that. That's annoying. Can't equip that. That's annoying. Uh, we can destroy you because you are... Not useful. You are useful. And you're not useful, so we're gonna destroy you. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section Come on. you were with Professor Black. Just woke up, haven't chosen the violence yet, so I guess that is a definition of a good morning, I guess. <laughs> um 
Okay, so now it is time for a few more classes, but first we need to uh, How much you can... grab some more XP. We're going to do a small little side quest. Because, like, most side quests take way too long for the amount of XP that we get. Um, but this one is really nice because it gives us an extra page compared to most side quests. Um, as well as all of the XP that we would normally get from the quest. So yeah, we just need to go over here, grab the moth over there. And talk to her again. And we get the page there, as I talked about. And now we can move on to Herbology. Take a little shortcut over the edge. And Herbology. And yeah, it is time for Garlic. Everybody's favorite professor, for obvious reasons. I do wonder about... Okay, I need to focus a little bit here. There's a lot of uh, inputs that you need to make for this class. Oh, I need to talk to Leander. He's down here, of course. If you're too fast or if you're too slow, he'll be spawn up here like he should. But if you're too fast, he'll be down there. And uh, if you forget, then you have to run back and that's a little bit annoying. But yeah, it's a good sign when he's not where he's supposed to be. <laughs> so here we get some uh, chomping cabbages, which are very useful in combat. So we want to get in front of here, from here, and try to block him from moving. Oh, dang it, we're in the wrong side. No, get... Oh, dang it. <laughs> That's unfortunate, but it's what it is. Yes, I want to hear a shitty joke in just a second, I think. Uh, I want to hear a shitty joke that I definitely didn't steal it and then adapt. Go for it. I'm always up for uh, shitty jokes. <laughs> Stirred clockwise. <laughs> Professor Black would never And now it's time for potions. What's a pirate's favorite programming letter? A strong, even motion when uh, C. <laughs> Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it because, like, the way. Yeah, yeah. But I don't. Is there a programming la language that is called R? Because I definitely haven't heard of that. Because the what the, the original joke is what is a pirate's favorite letter? You'd think it'd be R, R, but it's it's actually the C. All right. So here is a thing that I talked about about earlier, but didn't happen, which is that characters during uh, dialogue can do a death stare where they just look at you as if they are saying the thing that they're saying, but they are not saying it. Um, but yeah, Gareth here wanted us to go and steal Hooper Feathers from Professor Sharp, but uh, we're gonna need it ourselves, so we steal it ourselves. Oh. And uh, while we are brewing a potion, we're gonna leave the classroom to go and grab this here little page and go over here and grab another page here That'll be points from Griffin. like the potion which yeah. just finished there and talk to professor sharp all perfectly timed so now we need to wait for the quest to end so we can go here there we go R is a language used for data science. Oh, okay. 
Cool. Did not know that. <laughs> Hadn't heard of it before. Got a bunny hop down here to avoid a stumble animation. Taking a class on right now. Let's go. Revelio, Accio. Grab a few items here. Got a scarf, which is nice. Might not be better than the scarf we already have, but is what it is. At least we're doing fairly well on um, offensive items, which is lovely. So Natty here can technically also do a death stare, although it is much rarer. Like the Gareth one is is. 95% of the time, you just get a death stare there. Uh, where Nadia is like 5% of the time for me. So it's a little bit annoying when she does it. So now we need to, for during this next quest, we have a uh, combat encounter. encounter um, and we right now have an assignment from Professor Hackett. Where we need to uh, cast Incendio five times on enemies and also do some dodges dodge some spells uh, so we need to count to ten here so uh, let's have, come on everybody let's count to ten. One, two. very nice three all right four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. There we go. Very good. That was actually pretty, pretty decent. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. Okay, we can do a little bit of gear management during this next little dialogue. I Let's go over here. Sweet with me. It's just over there by my tent. This trunk. I have the mallow sweet. Love and again here. Uh, no, and we're gonna delete you. As these features, place the mallow suite on the swell. The ASMR. Let's see what happens. <laughs> My word! Did you see that? Incendio! What? The flames make the pyre sink. Mm, this is unjust. Not the best movement there, but it's fine. I'm curious about these. The language that is designed for non-programmers to program, so it has a lot of very forgiving shit, like you don't have to declare the types of variables. I assume that also limits a lot of the stuff that you can do in it then. Hmm? Right? And do be careful of Yes. Oh, you don't know it. Fair enough, fair enough. Does make it weird as fuck as a programmer. <laughs> Could imagine. Don't do that. That's not necessary. Okay, now we're gonna learn the most important spell in the entire wizarding world. Expelliarmus. Or, at least according to Harry, it's the most important spell. I'd like to talk to you about it. Didn't get the uh, menu there. If you wish to stay in practice. So now we are going to do the house specific quest that I talked about earlier. We need to help Ollivander find his uh, long lost heirloom. 
and we're gonna start by going to the outer ring. Though the way it determines the type implicitly is quite logical at least. That's good. It would it would be a very annoying to have a programming language that was not logical. Um, so yeah, most people would just probably follow the map and the uh, yellow dotted line on the map, but uh, we're gonna be uh, speedrunning and uh, doing some climbing here. And uh, just climb up this mountainside instead. And if we do this properly, we're gonna save around five, seven, five seconds. That was pretty good. That was probably about a four second time save. Uh, the fewer amount that you have to kind of stumble, the better. Okay, so now there's a small puzzle up here where we have to find the uh, the right statues and uh, or find the find the statues. Um, and because, well, I'm a speedrunner, I know exactly where they are located. So we're just gonna. Do like that. I accidentally grabbed the wrong one. So now here's a little, little bit of dialogue. While that is happening, we're gonna grab that and wait and turn it to nighttime. And then skip cutscene. A lot of stuff happening on top of each other. Waking up in the middle of a dialogue. No biggie. And then we gotta climb up here. Shayna Simon, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Appreciate it. So here are some of the... Uh... Nope, there was a page there. Thank you. Some of those extra XP that I was talking about earlier. Drink some water. Sure thing. Uh, the last page we grabbed there is this little extra um, side quest about these fl floating candles. Uh, and we're going to do that because it is literally on the way to where we need to go. And it uh, gives us quite a bit of XP, 100, 180, on top of 400 gold pieces, which is nice. Yo, Nomad, good to see you. How are you doing? I suppose a picnic treasure hunting suits me. This game reminds me of that time. Hang on a second. God damn it. I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Here I am. As good as my time I put my phone number in a public bathroom stall. What? <laughs> Aside from the bird bath. No, come on. God damn it. Indeed. Yeah. A few landmarks. A I accidentally uh stumbled on some rocks there. Which Made, makes me unable to both run and roll, which is annoying. Nothing to do now. So yeah, now we got some uh, hints by this ghost jackdaw. So what was that stumble? That was annoying. For a thief, jackdaw surprisingly as good as his word. And now we need to infiltrate a cave, cave full of spiders. God damn it! Such regal creatures. Um, but first we have a little bit of an encounter with some goblins. Intramuros. They need to be standing in the right spot here. I think it's there. Incendio. Oh. Ah, dang it. I was too, bad for, too far backwards. Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Oh, there's one more. No risk those loyalists will. I thought he died. Couldn't see him, <laughs> but 
yeah, if you stand in the very in a very specific spot uh, when he spawn when when they spawn, the the guy with the shield uh, actually can despawn. Okay, so we have a, a little bit of a cutscene here, which lets us do some menuing. Still haven't really got any of the stuff that we want, or new stuff that we want, but it's fine. Someone didn't want casual vis- I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. Incendio! Very nice. <laughs> Okay. In another cutscene, this was basically the cutscene that we were menuing during before. Oh, Rolling as far under this rug as possible. I hope I have enough damage to one-shot the matriarchs. We'll have to see. It's a good thing Jack Dool didn't fall down there. A bit of platforming. God damn it! Take jump a little too late. There it is. The bridge. It's almost complete. More spiders. He's confident Okay, pretty good. We have enough ancient magic at least for two blasts. Which is what we want. Let's see how much damage we actually have. Perfect. One shot. And one shot. That was really good. So, we're almost at the end of this dungeon or a cave or whatever. Have a little bit of an invisible gate here. It needs to open for us for some reason. I don't know what happened there. That was a little fun. And... Get the pages. Now we need to have... This here. Go over here to this guy. Here it is. Don't need the item that we got. Just, just got there. Is there something beyond this room? Incendio. Expelliarmus. Accio. Incendio. So that was really nice. Okay, so now we need to kill these guys. Kill you like that. And while this next animation is playing, we're gonna run back here for a little chest. What? Yeah. That's unnerving. What's happening? Useless item. I've seen this before. In Green Gods and the restricted section. Utilizing a little bit of downtime there to equip the, oh no. the disillusionment charm, what we need a little in a little bit. 
And now we have quite a bit of uh, cutscene kind of stuff. What sort of magic is this? With not a lot of stuff happening. <clears throat> I can only hope this magic protects me. Really happy that this quest went well. It is a place where you can lose some time if you get bad gear. Because uh, both the matriarchs, the, the like the spiders and the uh, the knights, or the statues, will uh, take a significantly longer time to beat. If you have bad gear. But this was nice. This was good. This is a good start. Probably not gonna have too much gear changes until uh, the big gear upgrade in the middle of the run. So now we unlock our talents, which are very nice. I'm gonna start off by only getting the swift here uh, so we can get out of here a little faster because. Next quest, we have a very long unscalable cutscene, which we're going to utilize or use to um, equip all of the other pages and the map uh, talents that we need. So Swift is a really cool talent that we can can unfortunately not really use inside of Hogwarts. Um, but uh, outside, on the uh, outside Hogwarts grounds, and uh, in a lot of caves and stuff, we can't use it. And it just saves a bunch of time. There you are. We're losing a little bit of time here, but not too bad. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. Yeah, we're bleeding a little bit of time, but that's that's okay. That's okay. You need Rebellion. Akio. Grab Useful few pages here. Akio. And meet me in my so that was one of those gargoyles that I talked about earlier, the fire gargoyles, where we lighted a blaze and then uh, a page reveals itself. And now for a very important class, flying class, which will allow us to uh, buy a broom and uh, fly around. Spot the main character. <laughs> now, your turn. Up, up, up! You stupid ratty school broom. So the reason I haven't equipped the uh, outfit that we got is that we actually we actually don't want legendary or purple outfits or defensive items. We want blue defensive items, as we can upgrade those more. Uh, and whenever you upgrade a gear piece of gear, it gives stats in the opposite uh, attribute. So if you have offensive gear and you upgrade that, it'll give defensive bonuses. And if you upgrade defensive gear, it'll give offensive bonuses. Um, and you don't really need uh, defensive stats at all for, for this run. Brilliant. A little bit extra can be nice sometimes, but ideally you don't need it at all. Um, so yeah, right now we only have one piece of blue defensive gear and we need the, the two others. So we need a blue hat or blue graded hat in a blue graded outfit um, but we still have quite a few chests where we can can get it so not too big of a deal right now uh, we have some good offensive gear which is really good like being able to one shot the matriarchs with the ancient magic is is a good indicator that you're doing fairly well or you're getting fairly good luck Need some some amount of luck for this run, but luckily we have routed in a bunch of chests. Um, 
So you have a lot of options of getting the stuff that you need. <clears throat> so yeah, that was just a standard Harry Potter game room flight trial with rings. Uh, now we need to fly around for some invisible checkpoints and uh, follow Everett, but not really. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this flu flame because we need it later on and this is just the perfect time to get it. Uh, I'm gonna follow a fairly specific route and uh, cut some corners just to reduce the distance that I need to fly. So yeah, now we learn about the uh, boost. And you, in the bottom corner, you can see a yellow bar that uh, fills up. Oh, whoops. That's not too big of a deal. I messed up a little bit. Uh, and the yellow bar, it fills up faster, or it fills up even while we're using it if we are close to the ground. So you'll see me try and hug the ground for as much as possible. Uh, so I can keep on boosting. Up next, we have this long cutscene I talked about, where we can grab a bunch of talents. So here we're gonna grab some uh, more spell uh, trees, or not trees, but pages. And, uh... From each of you. Just, yeah, just to have more spells available at, at any given time. I'm gonna upgrade Incendio. You're in this class because you're still, because you're still fertilizer here, which oh, which is gonna upgrade our but Professor uh, cabbages. Is finished for the day. And now uh, you're gonna see what happens to cutscenes when you interrupt them. You. Yeah, it it it's, it looks a little weird. In the future. Chin up. That it just disappears. <laughs> uh, what else did I upgrade? Um, oh yeah, now uh, we can, whenever we disarm an enemy, we can throw their weapon back at them, which is awesome. Uh, our basic casts reduces cooldown of the rest of our spells, so we aren't necessarily stuck with. I've not forgotten. Uh, or yeah, we can we can faster get back to to casting actual spells. Um, now we have a quest about the Room of Requirement, um, which is this game's like customization segment. Uh, um, where you can decorate your own house, basically. Um, we're well, not really going to be spending a whole lot of time here doing that, because it's a speedrun. Uh, but we do need to get back here later on uh, for some, some gear upgrade, as that is also here where you do that. Yeah, this is a little bit of a slow section. We're going to use it to... Uh, Equip some some spells here just to improve our. No chance I'm clambering over this mess. Our efficiency. We're gonna learn two spells here that are related to the room of requirement. Uh, first, Evanesco, which is used to delete stuff that you made or in this case elite chairs that is in the way oops that was a little slow and now we walk very slow until we uh can move ahead and do some swifting this is one of the very few places inside hogwarts where you can actually do the swift um which is lovely because it's a very long winding road not really a maze but it looks a little bit like a maze. My old school. But it's just one long path, and uh, we need to remove those chairs that are blocking the way.
Yes, Professor. Dash all the way through there. What was that? That was the last set of chairs. And now we have a little bit of unskillable cutscene, then thumb skillable cutscene, and then a long unskillable cutscene. Yay. This, this section here, the first, this is the end of the first third of the game, I guess you can call it. Um, there's a lot of unskillable cutscenes. First we had the, uh, the flying class one, now we have this one. Then we have a long dialogue in the next quest, then we have a long unskillable cutscene, and then the first trial, and after that the longest unskillable cutscene in the game. So just a lot of... of breaks here at this uh at this stage so uh, if you need a toilet break not right now but uh in about 20 minutes or so there'll be a long nice break where you can go to the toilet and not miss anything like literally not miss anything i'm gonna go to the toilet as well that's how long of a break it is uh, which is very lovely to have that in a, in a four-hour run. Um, yeah, it's just really lovely. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. So here we can just uh, and it seems the waste a little bit of time doing this. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. This will be more easy. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Do, 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 do. Now we learn the conjuring spell, which is used to, well, conjure stuff and uh, be able to place them around. The room of requirement. We're gonna use it to make a potion stand and then a small potting table. You can use these whenever. Uh, but we're not gonna actually be using those, so we're gonna delete them again. <laughs> Course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Just gonna move that a little bit. Okay, some nice time save there. Now we're gonna meet Sebastian, who's gonna tell us about the Undercroft, which is a secret little room that he and Ominous, his friend, have found where they just like to hang out. Um, I don't know how nobody else has found it because it's not that hidden. Like, it's it's down... Like, it's it's literally just down beneath the... Uh, defense against the Dark Guards classroom. And, and yeah... Very, very secret. Very hidden. So here we have a long time where Sebastian just talks. Where we can uh, My friend. first grab some gear from these chests. Hopefully get some blue defensive gear because we need that. Okay, that is not good at all. Okay, that's really bad. Uh, can delete a little bit of it. Because we do not need it. Do we have anything else? No. Since the day we met, I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Now we learn Penfringo. It may take which is a nice combat spell. Deal some good damage. The invitation um, is Confringo. Very and uh, can explode walls and stiff, which is also very useful. Okay, 
You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Here we're gonna stand. Best to keep right here. Good for you. Nice work. That's it. Well done. That way we can hit all of the braziers very easily. A lot of dialogue. And then we exit. Hello, Sebastian. <laughs> this outfit, man. <laughs> Ominous. Is that we are not, or he doesn't see it, but he noticed that we are not Sebastian. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. He's obviously not happy about it. Gonna grab a page here and uh, run over here. Grab a chest. And then go to fix classroom. Whenever we're invisible, we want to be uh, jumping because that's faster and just walking crouched you can see me do like this also uh, rolling through doors skips a uh, an, an animation uh, of us opening the door so you'll see me roll through basically every door that we can The room is called the map chamber, by the way. And now we bring Big to the map chamber that we found. I look forward to meeting him. How did this jackdaw get the pages from the book? And uh, just because we can. Do we have anything in here? We do. But we need... No, we need you. And yeah, funny uh, cutscene again, where we can see kind of behind the scenes of how these cutscenes are created. Um, basically, whenever a model is not used within the frame shot, it's just gonna be de-rendered or like either not be even be in the scene or being a, in a T pose, uh, which it's like they just stand there in that default position. Um, so right now, yeah, both of our characters here are within the shot. Um, but now it's just me. Fig is gone. And now, yeah, there is a T-pose. <laughs> because we are technically not in this shot. And then it cuts. I think we are supposed to be in the shot here, but for some reason that just puts us up here. This, this cutscene is very weird. <laughs> T-pose. And now nothing. <laughs> That's great. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. If only. Oh yeah, he talked about it earlier during the uh, intro, but his wife Miriam dedicated a lot of her life to studying this ancient magic, uh, which is whom he's talking about there. So a lot of dialogue. And we get introduced to the location of the first trial. Which we will be doing. Oh, Jesus Christ, what is our cloak doing? And uh, which is where we're going now. First, we need to do some stuff in Hawksmeade. To uh, grab some pages and grab a broom. Very important. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few... Okay, let's 
Grab you there. This guy's gonna sell us a broom, which is nice. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. We're gonna sell all of this stuff. We're gonna keep these two because we need to upgrade, have some blue stuff that we can upgrade uh, later on. Some blue offensive gear that we can upgrade as well. Not just the defensive gear. Now we're gonna go to the potion. Master Pippin. And uh, he's going to send us on a quest to deliver four invisibility potions. Um, but uh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to take the four potions and uh, never finish the quest. Because uh, the potions are way more useful for us than they are for the uh, lady who needs them. Or who is technically buying them. Okay, and now we go out here. Because we need some more money. Grab that chest. And go over here. Where am I? Okay. That was not ideal at all. Grab you. Wrong way. We need to go this way. Oops. So yeah, the ki uh, the uh, chest can spot us going in, in this and will not be tricked, so we need to get out of sight first before it let its guard down. Go another chest in here. Let's have you leave here alive. Grab you. Okay, that is useless. Not really getting the luck from these chests that I was hoping for. Well, what's which is very annoying. Available? So here we're going to buy some more ch uh, chomping cabbages, as well as a mandrake and a venom tentacula. Uh, those we need to use in combat for one of the assignments from the teachers. Uh, these assignments I haven't really talked about, but they are essentially some extra curriculum stuff that we need to do because we are after all a fifth year that hasn't been to Hogwarts before so we are quite far behind uh, and uh, for some reason these teachers just want us to go into combat oh, here's a pleasant surprise okay so we're gonna go over here and grab a flu flame that we're gonna be needing later on Fair in a little place like this and now we need to fly quite far. Um, which means that while we are flying, we can uh, grab some talents, utilize that little bit of downtime. Don't want to do too much because flying outside of menuing is slightly faster because we can boost. Um, but it is definitely one of the better points to do it. Grab that flu. We'll make sure we grab that flu. Over here. Talk to Fick. Well, this isn't ideal. No, it isn't. And now quickly equip the broom. Oops. Gonna sneak up behind these guys, wait for that prompt. What was that? Quickly take them out. Orders directly from Ranrock. Something here. Ranrock said so. And now we get into a fight. Now, 
Ouch. Need to make sure I don't die here. Gonna grab a lot of stuff. I have a little bit of time down here, downtime here, but unfortunately we can't really do anything. As that'll soft lock the game. Um, which is Welcome stupid. Okay, need to talk to uh, Rackham. Reservoir of ancient magic. Uh, no. Downstairs, near the entry. And this is the first trial, which is fairly easy. Uh, not a lot of stuff happening here. I've seen this before in Gringotts and the restricted section. Oh yeah, now I remember what I needed to menu. We need to grab this here. The potions I bought are also related to uh, an assignment. We need to use a focus potion and we need to use an Edoras potion combined with a Maxima potion uh, for Professor Sharp. This is one of the main points of having the uh, swift ability as you can see goes a lot faster than just walking these look familiar oof barely made that that was scary A little bit of puzzling here, technically. And uh, then you're supposed to get back on to the platform, but we're oh, just gonna jump around like that. That was a little bit less clean than it usually is. Here is also a puzzle, but uh, we're gonna circumvent it a little bit. First, we're gonna grab this, go over here. And then this is a thing. Which is very lovely. Okay, that just oh, ate the entirety of uh Incendio. Wow, okay. Okay, I thought you died. Sure. There we go. Uh, 
that one we can just jump straight to. And we go like this. And then while flying over here, do a little bit of menuing with the Venomous Tentacula. Oh, okay, that was two Wigging Well potions there. Only got one of them. Mainly grab these because, well, they don't lose time to get. <clears throat> then we have a little bit of a fight here. Very nice. Now we get the uh, boss here. And we're just gonna very quickly deal with him. And boosh! Very nice. And this is where we get the uh, very long cutscene. So yeah, if you need to go to the bathroom, now is the correct time to do with that. So uh, skip the first part here and I will be right back in like two minutes. <laughs> it's a very long one. Your ability to transfigure the world around you is remarkable. What is it? My father isn't getting better. I don't think he'll ever recover from the death of my brother. It is agonizing to see those we love suffer. The trout was years ago. The pain of losing him is as deep for him now as if it had happened only yesterday. He doesn't need pretty pillars, he needs peace. What if I could help him, Professor? You do so much for your father already. It's not enough. I want to take away his pain. It is tempting, I know, to use this magic that you're mastering to transfigure more than the physical world. But human emotion is a potent force unto itself. Even the most well-meaning and competent witch cannot possibly know the consequences of irrevocably manipulating it. So I'm to watch as my father's pain destroys him. It is not your pain to take. Oh. Back. Or I'm back. Still a uh, more cutscene, by the way. It looks like it would end there, but Every it doesn't. Student <laughs> sees something sillier than I could ever imagine in their tea leaves. Oh, Miss Morgana, welcome back to Hogwarts, Professor. That's going to take oh. to use too, mm. Professor Rickwood. I was so pleased to hear that you'd accepted the position of Defense Against the Dark Arts, Professor. Sit, sit, Isadora. Tell us about your travels. I was actually hoping that you and the others might join me at my home this evening. This is a really good run, honestly. Like, most of the time save I have is we shall in the end game. <laughs> so being this fairly far ahead already is, is really nice. All right, that's the end of the cutscene. There's this chest over here that we're gonna grab. Useless. Okay, we're actually a little... Uh, it's a little bit annoying that we're not getting the items that I need. Still have some options for getting items, but uh, they are running out. Can I be losing? No, we're not going to lose time here, but uh, compared to gold. 
Should save some time now. A little bit. Five seconds, maybe. Uh, before you go. 5.7, close enough. <laughs> and that is the first part of the game. Going into autumn now. And uh, just gonna start off by going to Herbology. Learn Wingardium Leviosa. How inconvenient travel was for Protego. Go to garlic. About a pressing and highly confidential man. Guardian Leviosa. Swish and flick. I believe that we may be able to help each other. <laughs> And quickly move on to potions. I think I need to split manually here. Please see me after class once you have completed the tasks I've set for you. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. And now we're moving into uh, the best quest in the game, for sure, because it's beast class, beast class, and it's Gerald. Okay, that one split on its own. I was able to gold. Let's go. Welcome. If... You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose? So yeah, this is Gerald. Gerald is lovely. Gerald is life. Gerald is love. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's so good. now we're uh, gonna, just going to do the rest of the class, and uh, when the class is over, um, we're going to do a little bit of a weird thing where our like the, some of the NPC is going to talk to us, but we're going to spam the talk button or something, uh, and, and that skips their dialogue. It doesn't really work anywhere else, I don't think, uh, but here it works, so... That's great. <laughs> Why don't you show our new student to the new so yeah, first we need to uh, do the rest of the class where we skip a cutscene uh, of some uh, would-be poachers, going to be poachers, aspiring poachers, uh, trying to get some whiskers from these measles. Um, we're gonna stop that quickly. Care for them. Now. So yeah, there we uh he was about to talk a lot. Didn't want that to happen. And again here with Poppy. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. And we're just gonna run away from Puppy, real quick here, I mean, because like she's gonna take us to a clearing, and we already know where it is. We can dash a little bit here. While we wait, we can grab twenty-three coins. And now we're gonna get introduced to this game's version of uh. Hi uh Buckbeak, sorry. This guy's called Highwing. And uh, got a bow, as is tradition, and then we bow again. And then uh, now we are allowed to pet him. There's a little bit of a trick here if you can sometimes get it. I knew it. I don't Didn't get it. 
Um, but you, basically, you can get this animation started before Poppy starts talking, um, saving a few seconds. It's very precise, and basically, all you can do is just spam. <laughs> and sometimes it works. <clears throat> Okay, and that was Beast Claps. And we're gonna go on to learn Alohomora. By the caretaker, whom we met earlier. We kind of ignored him by, because we were menuing, but uh, the guy before... We made it into Hawksmeet the first time around, during our first day. He talked about demigeysers, and uh, now we're gonna help him with that problem. Because there's a lot of demigeys statues around the castle and around Hogwarts. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx? Flip there should be a flying page here somewhere. Necessary tasks. Didn't see it, but uh, we still have a few more options to grab it. So he's going to be talking and uh, we're going to be grabbing pages while he's talking. Outside of the technically allowed area to grab some more pages. And we're just going to be ba barely able to make it, which is nice. So again, here we uh, can't run because we're close to him. Need to roll. So yeah, a lot of talking here. Uh, those statues are demigods. So we still have a lot of pages to grab. Or well, two more pages here. here why me no oh, that's actually not too bad ideally you are next to him when you say why me but uh that's okay now we learn a uh gonna be using it a few times throughout the run and whenever we need to use a there's a little bit of a puzzle that we need to do uh and uh, trying to optimize this is actually fairly important. There. And as soon as it locks, we can press escape to exit out of it a little bit faster. Do a little roll there to the text box. So now we need to find two moons. Or two demigod statues. Gonna quickly reveal that one before the teachers spawn. This must be the prefect's bathroom. There's a lot of prefects and uh, people that have an eye out for you. And I'm gonna try and uh, avoid them. Because getting discovered is really bad. while also grabbing a lot of pages. Nope, oh, this guy here. You can distract him with that. Go this way in the meantime. Again, jumping because it's faster than running when you're in this. Come on. 
Grab that flying page before we leave. Sometimes that guy can be down here or next to you when you're going down, which is very annoying, but uh, luckily he wasn't. Have this guy goil here. And then we have two more pages. This one and the flying one here. And we jump over there to get down as fast as possible. And that's the quest. First few times you try that quest as fast as possible, you're going to run into a lot of trouble. <laughs> it is harder than it looks, in my opinion. But it's not too bad. Also, that's a gold somehow. Very nice. So now before the next quest, we're going to go on a little uh, page grabbing spree. We have this little route here with a lot of pages on it. Um, and it's one of the uh, better just bonus routes that you can take to grab some extra XP. Obviously we want to grab as many pages as we can during quests uh, where they will usually not take up any extra time. Uh, but but sometimes, or some of the uh, XP we need has to be done uh, as bonus, basically. Revelio. And we have these two here. Oh, didn't get up this one, apparently. Come on. There we go. And we are not quite done because we also need to go to the viaduct courtyard. Uh, the main reason we need to go there is because there is a specific page that we need to grab. Uh, the uh, the one in the docks. Um, as well as this little puzzle here. This is extra secret. And... Uh, we can actually move during this little cutscene here, if you look at the minimap. But yeah, we need to grab this page down here. The little puzzle we did there is one of the three uh, Hogwarts secrets that gives 200 XP, which is very nice. Oh, you did not spot me there. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not really what I wanted to do. But yeah, we need this uh, underground harbor page before we can move on. Okay, we're really not getting any of the items that we need, which is kind of annoying. So now we need to, or now we're going to do the Home of Earthcut quest. Uh, where we need to go into a cave and retrieve a I don't know what goblin artifact. Whoops, misclick there. Uh, and this is one of my favorite quests because we do a really cool out of bounds exploit glitch thing. First, we need a chest there. Rebellion. Accio. Rebellion. Accio. Welcome to the army. Talk to Lodgok, who is a, a goblin we kind of met during our first day to Hogsmeade, but during a cutscene, so we didn't see it. Come on. I'm gonna meet them up here. I'm ready. Gonna grab a page. And uh an eye chest there. What precisely is the relic? So here we're gonna go and uh, dash ahead of Lodgog. He's very slow. So we're gonna take a small detour for a page. Uh Unfortunately, during this time, we can't uh, do any menuing 
even though I'd like to. Uh, because that soft soft locks the game. <laughs> Wizard can see things differently. With the, uh, the with the page glitch. Oh yeah. Can only go up here and uh, wait. But yeah, we're gonna do a uh, a bit of a glitch here where we gonna try and enter the cave on the broom, which the developers obviously didn't intend us to do. Um. And that's going to allow us to go out of bounds and skip a lot of puzzles and combat. Place, isn't it? Uh, we do need to do a little bit of preparation by opening a door, otherwise I will the uh, the game doesn't allow us to continue later on. Um, it, it's just soft locks if we don't open the door first. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go in, open the door, and then exit out and enter on the broom. Let's oh, let's go. That's a really... Uh, that's really nice. We got the uh, uniform there. Did they not work? God damn it. Sometimes this moth is just not, does not want to cooperate. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna go back out here. Wait for a... Merlin's bed. Bit of a dialogue there. And now we gotta go back in. Nope. Oh, okay, that was a little early. Okay, that didn't work for some reason. That was annoying. Okay, that's gonna lose a little bit of time now. But it's still, still worth it for sure. Nope. Dude! What? What's going on? This is weird. <laughs> I really shouldn't be doing this. What I'm trying to do is uh, overlap the command of entering the cave with the command to go on the broom. What? That should work. I am I'm a little confused right now. <laughs> this, <laughs> this And every time we have to try this, it loses quite a bit of time. Nope. What? Okay. Gonna try my old method. Wait, what am I doing? No, this is correct. That didn't work. Okay. Incendio. Okay, okay. We, we're gonna do that method instead. That was closer to working. I messed it up, but... Why do I need to lose a run like this? Well, I'm not losing it necessarily, but we're losing quite a lot of time here. Which is very annoying. Incendio. That's a little too early. Nope. That should work. Wow, okay. Nice. There we go. Now we're out of bounds. <laughs> and uh, we're just going to fly more or less all the way to the end here. Not quite, but close to it. And we need to do this little puzzle thing here first. Uh, but we're going to skip most of it. Because we're just going to climb up here. Come on. Okay, that was a little scary. But first, the uh, Inferi, the, the enemy here, gets too close to you and uh, start attacking you. They make this whole thing a lot harder. But uh, we got it. Gonna lose a lot of time here still, but... Uh... Yeah. Ah, 
first. So in order to get this next prompt here, we usually need to be in this. Oh yeah, we're losing quite a bit of time here. Should still be ahead, I think, after this, because we're still needing to, to do quite a bit of the quest here. That's so annoying. That it didn't work. Because uh, we didn't get the actual helm, because it wasn't there. So we uh, need to go this way and uh, find a an Ashwinder camp. Because uh, they were there first. We're gonna grab it and then we're gonna go open the map. It's gonna freak a little bit out because there's a cutscene. Uh, but we're just gonna avoid the, uh, the encounter that is normally there and teleport back to Lodgok. Looks rather dark in there. And say, hey, here's the helm. We shall speak soon. Best. And now we, while this quest is ending, we're gonna go down here to what is known as a, an ancient magic hotspot. And uh, grab that. Damn, I didn't have an audience for that And one. open up the map while a Cutting is playing, so we can skip that. Point <laughs> seven ahead. Let's go. <laughs> Lost a full minute and ten seconds. Ah, that is quite annoying, but we're still ahead, and we should be able to save some time here. Come along then. Ideally. Our first stop. Will... Ah, that's so stupid. Stupid time loss. That really shouldn't happen. That was a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest... Okay, let's not uh, get bothered too much by that. Hated working for him. He did horrible Here we're gonna have Deke move a little faster by it was during those doing some shortcuts. And now we're gonna learn how to rescue beasts by capturing them in a little bag. <laughs> As I mentioned, my sister Anne, Mrs. Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. Come on, really? I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. We need just one uh, puff scheme here. Hope you're faring well with the blast. The ghost quest requires us to. Now that you've attended feast class, I've asked Deke to assist. Please. And then we need three jobinals, which we're gonna grab here next. heard from my uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me? Um, and after that, we're gonna get three, no, two, sorry, uh, moon calf. Uh, and after that, we're gonna do a lot of what's it called? Clean up. Where we are uh, gonna grab some XP and a lot of uh, legendary chests because we need some some good gear for the end game and this is the uh time where we we grab that okay come on jubinals don't be so shy thank you so that was two we need one more sometimes they can uh, really be annoying and not want to play along dude come on thank you This was medium. Could have been a lot better, but could have definitely also tried it a lot worse where they just do not want to cooperate. We gotta talk to Deke here, and then we're gonna turn it to nighttime because it's moon calf, so obviously they only come out at night. Still looking for a blue graded hat. Maybe here. 
Nope. Uh, whoops. We need two moon cops, so this is one, and then there should be one on the right. So yeah, now we're gonna go on a long uh, bonus expedition and uh, do some extra stuff. First here, we're gonna do some uh, inventory management, even though this is not the most ideal time to do it. Uh, we still like to do it here. Nope, we don't need that. Yeah, we need a we need a hat. What can I help you with today? We're also gonna buy some magma potions here. I'll have no trouble. I think I'm gonna. Thank you. Keep that. And there. I hope to see you. Oh, we need to go over here first because there is a page. It's there. Rebellion. Accio. Now we're going to grab a few flu flames that are going to help us later on while we grab these uh, legendary chests. The reason why we're grabbing the legendary chests now is because we need to upgrade a lot of our gear and we do that in the room of requirement at the end of this quest. Um, so to not go back to the room of requirement later on, we, uh, we do everything now in... and hopefully our gear is going to be Good enough to uh, not need uh, any any upgrades afterwards. Yeah, I'm still needing a blue hat, which is a little little scary, a little annoying. A little bit of both. There's still a few um, what's it called spots where we can get some more items and hopefully get a blue hat. And if not, then we may need to actually go to Hawksmeet to buy one, uh, which obviously loses quite a bit of time. Um, we may need to go there anyway to, if we don't get some good legendary gear. Let's have a look, shall we? Need to buy some more Maxima potions. Don't be disappointed, I can promise you that. So nice of you to stop by. Nope. Actually, let's grab you. Okay, not useful at all. Incendio. Okay. So here. To Oops. Got to do some things to make us fly during the cutscene, but it's what it is. So now we're gonna go and kill like what is called an infinite infamous foe. This guy here, gonna try and do it while sneaking because then we can one shot him. What is he doing? What are they doing? I don't like this. Ah, I didn't get him. Okay, we're just gonna destroy him like this. I won't rest. An utterly pitiful display. Useless item.
Yeah, that is good. That is one item that we needed. So yeah, we need three uh, legendary offensive items. We need a back, a neck, and a hand. And right now we have the back. So we need a uh, hand and a neck. I should investigate. Yeah, we need to grab a few Deary Calls. Oh yeah, there's also an Inferi. And it's just way faster to kill him than do anything else. You can technically avoid the trigger of him spawning. Um, but I haven't really implemented that yet into my route or into my run because it's a little tricky and a little finicky. And I haven't, I just haven't practiced it. But you can do it. So, yeah. Also, uh, the, there's these landing platforms that I haven't talked about, where uh, you simply just land on them and gain 80 XP. So those are, for the most part, the absolute fastest way to, to gain experience, uh, especially if they are already on the way to where you're going. Which that one definitely is. Revelio. So we have a chest back here that we can grab. Hopefully get a blue hat. Oh, missed it. Nope. Also, I'm stuck. <laughs> Getting a little unlucky with the uh, with these items. Like, not getting a single blue hat for this long is a little crazy. I did keep one uh, extra... What's it called? Uh, purple hat. Just in case, because we it's better to have a purple hat than no hat. Okay, we got gloves. That's good. Now we just need the neck item. So we're going up here to grab this, because we need that later. There we go. Let's let's go. That's so important, honestly. You know, the landing platform. And now we're going through the... Uh, the tunnel under the mountain onto the southern part of of the game or of the map uh which we're not really we don't really need just yet but it's just smarter to to get it now get it out, get it out of the way now we need some ancient magic charges and uh a good way of getting that is by Tropicus to talising Enemies. Like that. But we still need a scarf. One shot this guy. Okay, that's a hat. That is useless. Revelio. Accio. Here, I wonder. We have one more infamous foe that we're going to be defeating over here. Mm, not the best place for an unaccompanied student. This person here. That. No, dude, really? 
Can we restart that? I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to drink that. Uh... Yeah, we have killed her, I think. Yes, yes, we have. But we didn't get the, the item from her, but that's that's okay. We do need to do some inventory management, though. Um, guess there's some more gear that we need. Not ideal right now, but uh, didn't lose too much. Still need a scarf, and we have two, maybe three places where we can get it. First one is in... Nope, not this one. It is this one. There we go. Okay. We are basically set. Still got to grab the last, uh, what's it called? Legendary chest that uh, we can, just to have slightly better odds of getting some good stats as well. Because just getting the legendary item itself doesn't necessarily guarantee that the stats on it are, are good as well. We also need to do a little bit of a detour here. Or something we need to do later on. What's that? Normally when, uh, when we need to do that later on, it uh, creates a cutscene. And we kind of just skip that by going there. And uh, or by doing that. And there's also a flu, which is very useful. Dude, come on. Get in. Thank you. Okay, that's useless, but that's okay. So now we're gonna go and grab one last page and a flu powder. Or flu flame for for later. But yeah, we actually have good gear. That's nice. We like that. <laughs> Why is a grapple you are? Revelio. Can we go like more directly over here? I don't know. I can try. Can I go all the way over? Yeah, we could. Because now we need to go to the room of requirement. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued a new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps... What if an unscalable cutscene? But no biggie. Provide. Can at least skip this one. Meet you inside when you're ready. you want to release them let them see the new home need to wait just a second there to before i start skipping the cutscene because it can the game can just crash if you do too fast which is lovely 
Okay, release all of the rest of the beasts there. And now we're gonna feed and groom them. Or groom and feed them. Which will give us some of their uh, fur or feathers. Very good, just double checking that we got all of it because we actually need all of it. No, okay, that was good. And we need to go here. Oh, we can't even wear this yet? That's annoying. Okay, need to be aware of that. You can wear you. And you, and these are fine. So now we need to upgrade some stuff. We need to upgrade 15 times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and then some this, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, and then we can do. Oh, I need to, of course, go in here. So we get this uh, level two trait, uh, and normally. Uh, or yeah, traits can normally be applied to, or level two traits can normally be applied to uh, blue items, but because we can do a little bit of a glitch here where we pretend that we want to apply it to a better item, uh, but we don't. We can do it anyway. You and you. Can we do it to this one? Yes, we can. Okay, good. That came out nicely. I should show Deke. So yeah, we need to equip that afterwards. Okay. So we need to get to level 21. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Oh, wrong way. We need to go up here. You made it. Where are we at? Okay, we we are we are there. With Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time, everyone stays out. Here we are. My sister should be just inside. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that. Not again. That's so weird. I don't know why it does that. Poor Sebastian. Well, there's a heat out. Normally, there shouldn't be a uh, a lock here. I'm sorry about earlier. Those bouts of pain. That boy will fray my last nerve. I am. I hope you remember when I present. Good day. Oh well. Is what it is. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. Oh. 
Loyalists are capable of so much more than Akio. they realize. They should not be underestimated. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at the family of the state. They've been so yeah, here we're gonna leave Sebastian a little bit in the dust. Because if we go up here... Gonna try and sneak in and infiltrate a little bit. I've never seen a sword like it. Yeah, this guy's an idiot. He deserved to to, to get wrecked like this. <laughs> Your last mistake. Ah, you seem tired. No, rubber and white coming back this way. Let's get this. Focus a little bit here. I confess. That was a bit more than I bargained for. I tried oh, that's not the right one. What's this one? 212, that's pretty good. Also, we managed to kind of make him teleport there. They seem to have set up camp here. Whose home was this? A bit abandoned long since I've, I've heard. Goblin Dixon's popping up everywhere. <laughs> Sebastian. Yeah, now we need to investigate this uh this was damaged by the fire area here. We start with the uh portrait in here because that's what prompt prompts Sebastian to come running. Incendio. Oh whoops, <laughs> wrong spell. For a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn about. It tells me they're after something bigger. We need to stand here. This. We're good. I can see the undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I think we're gonna save time even though we had to do the Alohomora thing. I'm tempted to hold my... It's kind of crazy. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. Why hide a triptych here? Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? Oh my lord, we're gonna gold. I'll be in. What? <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Did not expect that. You must admit. What are you up to now? Now it's time for astronomy class. After duck, do not tell anyone. Where are we gonna focus our telescope? Oh, we're so very focused. You can see each star very clearly. <laughs> now I expect all of you. But yeah, I mean it's gonna be a bro and uh Give us his uh, old telescope. Confringo. Accio. Which is very nice of him. Yeah, that was not the fastest, but uh, it's okay. You want to try and catch him while he's not still hasn't gone onto the stairs because, uh, yeah, that means you're faster. <laughs> the less he needs he managed to walk the better the table is on a castle wall ahead look for a stone platform something that doesn't quite belong. 
Do two dashes there and that's it. Because for some reason that's just barely outside of the uh Revelio. Accio. No swift area or something, I'm not sure. Nothing to be concerned about. Confringo. Oh no. Not the constellation should appear near the center of your view. Very good. So this is a bonus thing that you can uh, learn how to do and or you could do around the map um, where you solve these astronomy tables. Um, they aren't that slow in terms of XP because like you get XP for doing them. Um, but for our purposes, they are just barely too slow uh, to do. So we only do that one because it's part of the main quest series and you have to. Uh, but for any percent, we, we do do them because... Uh, oh, wrong way. For those, they are definitely fast enough. We uh, should need a lot more XP for any percent. Alright. So here we're gonna buy some stuff. And we're also gonna sell a little bit. All of these legendaries that we don't use. Maybe some of these as well. The Ministry ought to loosen the reins on the Dark Art. Sit over here, quietly. So now we need to rescue Highwing. By infiltrating this castle. Leviosa. Oh, Jesus. Leviosa. We need to climb up here. And there. I need to find a way into the gatehouse to open the gate for now. Oh, missed. Propulsa. To hit this box here. Technically supposed to go around and uh, accio it from in there, from over there. Oh, oops. No, I forgot. Uh, come on. Dude, what am I doing? Come on, what am I doing? Mm, oh, that was so bad. <laughs> that was absolutely terrible. Nobody saw that. Missed. Missed clicked everything. That was kind of embarrassing. Okay, hopefully we can do the next part here a little bit better. <laughs> that is the main keep. My guess is that we'll find Hollow and the letter inside. We'll need to be careful once we get... I hear them. A little bit of unskippable cutscene, then some skippable here. And now we need to be a little bit sneaky. Yes, uh, generally combat, if you can't avoid it, is a best avoided, because it takes time. Um, ah, dang it. You can do a the safest place dash to jump over there. If, uh, you're good, or if you know what you're doing and I don't. <laughs> That's very precise. And generally not worth going for multiple times. I hope Max is having an easier time of it. So here we're gonna do something a little bit funny by this guy. You're going home in a wooden box! Say hello and say goodbye. 
because there's only that guy, so we can just go in this and uh, do this lock here. And there we go. And time to fly away on high wing. So here is a bit of an auto scroller. Um, we could take a more direct path to the end, but we need Natty to follow along. And if we get too far away from Natty, she thinks that we've like fallen behind um, and will wait for us, <laughs> even though we are ahead of her. So this is one of the few instances where the escort mission kind of thing uh, does not really work for us. Most of the other times she will try to speed up and, and follow along when we get too far ahead. But not on this one, unfortunately. We can do some more straight line flying to make sure she always is at maximum speed, but can't really do too much about it, unfortunately. Isn't it? Okay, you're, you're a little close to me there, Natty. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. And now we need to go back to the map chamber. Okay, we lost a little bit of time, but not too bad. So now it's time for the second trial. I have learned of a wizard who is being harassed by Hollow. He may be... It would be wise not to underestimate this student. Do a little bit of time here to destroy some of this green gear it is a joy to have such a student it can be when you have a moment there you are so now we need to go back to feldcroft where we basically just came from Well, that's a gold. Nice. <laughs> that's cool. Okay, we do have some time to save on this one as well. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. So here, technically, we have to infiltrate the uh, the castle, but uh, and we need to technically do it without the broom. But if we are fast enough after talking to Fake here and starting the quest. Um, we can just go on the broom like this. It's very easy to do, very lenient. Um, and uh, go directly to where we technically needed to go. And uh, can just fly in and start the next cutscene. There's actually an encounter with a cutscene and, and everything uh, outside. Here we start dashing very quickly to uh, not get into a fight which allows us to do this next part much faster. I suppose that's the quick way. Oh, come on. Which is lovely. And we are in. Without even throwing a single spell. And here we wait a bit. It looks Don't need that. If they've taken all of it, why are they still here? 
Right about that, it may or may not be located here. Wherever it is, we need to find it before they do. Where is that portrait? It's right here. I heard something. I was hoping that was you. Also, these glasses are amazing. <laughs> you look so doofy, goofy uh, during these speedruns because, I would join you if I could. well, you need to equip the best gear you can we will i'll probably do some uh fashion thing in a little bit because well this looks dumb so here we have the second trial um gonna try and do a little bit of a skip here okay didn't get it we can do a swift jump over to the other side here so you don't have to do this entire Levioso thing, so you land here instead. Um, not that big of a deal to miss it. We have a swift jump coming up a little in just a bit. That is a lot more important to get. The puzzle. So yeah, this one is, is much more important that we get this one. Hopefully we can get it first try. Oh. Dang it. Yeah, that's that's what can happen. Oh, he died. <laughs> I'm falling down there. That was funny. Um, but yeah, this loses quite a bit of time. Really, game? I hate this jump so much. I do have a little bit of uh, leeway, but we're we've definitely already uh, used up that bit of times that we potentially had there. There we go. That's how it's supposed to look like. Just gotta do this one straight away. You can also do a swift jump this way instead of doing that little puzzle. Um, but yeah, I'm not proficient enough with that, so I just like to do it this way. You need to set up that skip? Ah. Huh. Well, you'll have to teach me that or make a video on that. <laughs> Just to be honest, I don't know what you mean by sneak to set up. Quick little encounter here. on wing weld that's nice Good. Very easy boss. 
which is sneak they won't see you so you have time to set up the position but you don't know the spot it won't help of course of course i do know the spot i just panic because well they spot me <laughs> Yeah, it's one of the things that I definitely need to practice, and I've said that for months, and I just always forget to practice it. You're back. And in one piece, no less. So yeah, gonna lose some time here. But I guess not too bad, actually. It was a very quick fight. That was nice. Yeah, this is not too bad at all. That's where the sneak comes in. They do not spot you if you're sneaking. Yeah, exactly. I hadn't thought about that at all. Well, easy time save next run. <laughs> On another adventure, are we? Natty told me about your run in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can so, quick little landing platform. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Do -do -do -do. This way. Come on, Bobby. Eh, which one is it? We need this one. And we need the invisibility potion. Please, potency. We, we need We're simply passing through. This one and we need this one. The more of your kind around here. Last you one are for we answer Bombarder and if anything, we want to see Transfiguration, which we haven't learned yet. But we will after this quest. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers and those they work with. <clears throat> oh, really, Poppy? I'm right here. You can see me, goddammit. Ah. He was certainly a charmer. That could have gone worse. Centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind. And the poachers aren't helping matters. But why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers? I did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in Hogsmeade. I'm not sure why. Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious. So yeah, here we go. That way to have Poppy run the entire way. Which is nice. I noticed that too. It's almost like there's something in the water. Or mostly the mostly all of the way. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure, but look around. If the poachers were here, <laughs> this is goblin. Out of place in the po Anything interesting? Do -do 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 -do. And now we need I to wait for puppy. Come on. To go. How do poaching and poach interests align? Look, down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. No creatures, though. Not really what I wanted to do. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> be happy to see us. Should we use the new or perhaps allow the street to poach? Hard to say from up here. 
Let's get a better look. Perfect. What in Merlin's name? Are those dragons? Yes, they are. They are indeed dragons. Well spotted. <laughs> Here we just dash all the way through here. Yes. We don't need to do it. Do anything. And we restart from last save to have Poppy teleport all the way here. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. What's going on down there? Protego. Skip. Perfect. Oh, that is oh, so unfortunate. That is like the worst positioning for them because I had to go full, full rotation and a half. All right, I have the egg. Ken! The trick is too talented. Let's make them count. Bad as a troll you are. I've heard central quieter than you. Let me have fun. Stop this for the open freeway. Akio, it's a news. And now it is just a lot of uh throwing garbage at these guys. Do I not have any more? You just die like that. Okay, there was more. We don't have time. We need to free her now before more show up. Akira. Vicious. Um, I want to destroy a few of these here. This may have been because we don't need them. Also, I want to see. Okay, you are ugly, and you are quite ugly as well. So no, there. What do we have here? Oh, that is dope. <laughs> I forgot the dark arch robe is uh, is like that. Um, I guess this one is actually pretty okay. What do we have here? Pretty cool. Nah. That looks good. Uh, what type of gloves do we have? Incendio. Yeah. I like this. Also, 212 offense. Very nice. This way. Oh, wow, we're already losing time here. Protego. I guess it wasn't the cleanest fight, and uh, I lost a bit of time earlier as well. Teach you the exploding <clears throat> charm, Bombarda. Once you have completed the tasks, I can... Speak to me after class. One, two, three. 
Assignment's all finished. Get them the wrong way. Need to wait here twice. Can we meet at the three broomsticks? The dragon from Hall of Nice and steady wand movements. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. And then we need to go to the library. Library. Revelio. Accio. Barely spotted that out of the corner of my eye. Book, Professor Weasley of looking for the book in the Revelio. I put the book Accio. back on the pedestal for you. Re Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. Come on. Thank you. Now, you all know what to do. I don't. I just noticed how ugly our wand is. <laughs> Oops. Since our visit to Feldcroft, something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the No, why, dude? Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. Oh, wait, it's down here. We may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there and bring Could have been a little bit cleaner, but it's okay. I remember our meet with. There they are up ahead. I'll let you win. This is going. Do -do -do -do. We do it that. once again. We can fight our way through. We'll be discreet. I prefer just dashing. Come on, let me through. Thank you. What the hell? For better or for worse. Such arrogance. Don't see any goblins on the webs. Incendio. Too many. They 
definitely think there's something here they want. Come on, game. What's that? It's no wonder the spiders give people goosebumps. Smash it. Should have thought to conjure stairs. Single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit. We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Dude, really? I won't rest until incendio. Finished yet. And smush. Certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. For a raisin for you certainly have a lot to learn. Wasn't expecting that. Could have been better, but it's fine. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. I knew it! This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. He is fascinated by it. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for trouble. close to a gold, so that's nice. I think we split there. Come on. Thank you. I enjoy having lunch down by the lake. And Hello. Hello. Hello there. Akio. Okay, gobbledygook. Very uh, sneak heavy. Just like, and also just like with uh, the second trial, we're gonna, right after this conversation, uh, gonna equip the broom. I shall to make it over to the entrance a little bit faster. The door is looking at us. Not as important here. Because it's such a short distance, but uh, everything adds up. Books so rarely prepare one for reality. 
Oh, come on, really? Let's just learn what we can and get out. So here we're gonna do a uh, swift jump. Easier and not as risky as the one uh, during the second trial. There we go. Then we uh, do like that and boom. It's a little unfortunate. Oh, but it's okay. Let us throw his safety on it. You have my word. Let's take a look around. See if we can find any plants. It's gonna dash through all of this. So we need to. Why have you not run away? I won't rest. Start that boiler. And uh, pull the lever to start this. Just uh, kill those guys to make uh, the escape a little bit easier. This is not good. They're building enormous drills, bigger than this mine could contain. Let's get out of here and tell Loco what we found. Akio, we got Akio. Very clean. That should save some time over my PB because that was not as clean there. Glad you came. <clears throat> out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. Okay, we're um, getting into the uh, to the end game here. Can we please talk? Without further ado, it's you. I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my... Hello, Wing. What's a hot take? Um, basically, it is something... It's, a, it's an opinion that you have, uh, or that you may have, um, that most other people would probably disagree with. I hope Professor Fitzgerald has confirmed what she needed to. I have to complete the next trial as soon as I can. A wise decision. Thank you. I hope to see you again. Oh, whoops. I should have traveled to a map chamber. Whoopsie. <clears throat> okay, so both Shadow of the Mine and Gobbledygook went really well. Uh, so we should... Overall, save a lot of time here. <coughs> Should hopefully be a minute ahead. At least close to it. Welcome back. Guess it didn't split. Revenger is the best for bingo. Is that really a hot take though? <laughs> Damn. I get that it's your personal opinion, which is always fine.
I still need to get that give that uh, give that game a go. Try it out. But legacy, you know. <laughs> Alright, a little cool uh screw. find the headmaster's house elf. Glitch out the door almost. Professor, a moment of your time. Now, has anyone seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. What could the headmaster want? Ah. Oh, that's my opinion, but sadly, only a few people know about Reventure. Yeah. yeah. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Seriously, out of my way, children. What are you doing? Witness what passes for magic in these halls. I. Professor, a word? Reventure, Archipelago, Randomizer gonna be crazy. Sounds good. What did we do to deserve him? Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? But yeah, this is one of the uh, annoying parts of being a speedrunner when you are very, very passionate about one game and nobody else cares. <laughs> Scopes as hard a worker as any. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. <clears throat> I best get out of sight. Ah, <clears throat> <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. <clears throat> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Confringo, Accio. Pretty good, pretty good. How are we doing on XP here? That's pretty decent, I think. That should be just exactly enough. Confringo, Accio. And if not, then we have Rebellion. an extra backup. No, I think we we should be fine here. For sure. Revelio. Accio. I'm gonna grab all of the pages though, just to be 100%, but shouldn't be any issues here. I hear 100%. Uh, but th that was not the 100% I was referring to. I do really want to do a 100% run at some point. Um, I'll definitely start by doing an any percent run one day. And then maybe eventually do 100%. Has this been under the. Um, that must be the pedestal. Just because. Well. Who needs a life, am I right? <laughs> I think my main problem with any percent and hundred percent is gonna be uh, not dying of starvation <laughs> in the process. 
I have a hard time going like five hours without eating. Or at least I, I get quite hungry at that point. So, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Anyway, for this quest, if you haven't seen it before, we uh, go watch the first cutscene or skip it. And then we uh, restart from last save because that allows us to uh, bash which we would otherwise not be allowed to do. Uh, and that's very important, especially from here on out, because that's we're going to be uh, in a crouched, sneaking state. And uh, dashing is quite a bit faster, if you hadn't figured, it out, figured that out yet. I'm going to need to avoid these guys. Oh, that's too far. Ah, uh, whatever. I need to technically land on the stairs there, because then I can dash further. But that's fine. Ladder. Here we're going to try that and climb up the ladder, because we can't really move during this cutscene, but uh, we can, for some reason, climb up the ladder. That saves a little bit of time. Otherwise, we'd have to climb the ladder now. This is my chance. Too many. I must cross the floor just faster. That's where I need to go. <laughs> this ghostly look. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. Oh, whoops. Looks like the only safe way forward. Oh, that was a little scary. Oh, fine. That's the way forward. Very good. I think I'm invisible. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to this. Now's my chance. And we just dash the rest of the way. You have outrun death thus far. But have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. And now for some combat with some extra strong power, which is lovely. And uh, we learned a new spell, Defindo, which we didn't have before. Defindo. You have access to learning this spell quite early on. So I guess the game just assumes that, yeah, you'd probably have this spell by now. Also, we are going to be a little bit overleveled, which is fine. Definitely something I can improve upon. Oh, okay. Also, we uh, throw spells very fast, which is fun. Ouch. Very nice. Dash up that little thing there, which is nice. Now we need to go into a uh, fight against some trolls. But uh, we're just going to one-shot them. And push. Going to try and uh, gain as much uh, ancient magic as possible here. 
because uh, we need it for this next one and I think we might be very close to getting enough here and oh A simple stone. I can't believe and this last part where we just basically have to watch a cutscene. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the. It's gonna be a ten thirty-eight. The trial, which is not too bad. But there is no light without shadow, as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Walking, 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 slowly, slowly, walking, walking. Remember that as you witness my memory. Skip. Skip. And the loading screen. And oh yeah, you guessed it. Skip. And then we go down there. It should split on its own. Yep. so bitterly about your goblin friend i apologize gonna do a slightly different route here so Please it may look like we're gonna lose some time after shadow of the mountain depending on how it goes of course um but yeah we'll see that's definitely a quest that has grown on me a lot as well it used to be one of my least favorite quests and uh, i just couldn't get it to work to now it's actually pretty good. Don't spot me, please. Thank you very much. Nothing pleasant about this coast. Had a really good Shadow of the Mountain, uh, to my PB. Keep close eye out. I had a bad start here. I had like a bad climb, um, but the rest was really good. So we'll see. 
bounty needs to safeguard local hamlets. It's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. Wait, we should have some sort of plan. They got what they deserve. Okay. Looks like Grand Rock's is heading further up. It's a really good sign that I'm using way fewer uh, Wig and Well potions than I used to. Means I'm getting better at combat. Ridiculous notions of ownership. So here we're gonna go this way. Ranrock's got that right. Very nice. Good. Agree. Some more sneaking coming up because we need to avoid a wave of uh, spiders. And we can do that by not getting spotted before killing them. How fitting. Irene, hello there. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good. So we need to make sure we're not in the combat when entering this room. And then we go in this and wait for the spiders. We need to go in here to spawn the next or last spider for some reason. No Getting through the cavern can't be a new challenge. Perhaps we should search. Oh. We can't get out of here quick enough. No, uh, we need to have that ready. Because we need to do two of these. We must remain unseen. And let the cabbages deal with the spiders here. Without getting spotted, because again that'll uh, make sure we skip a wave. And uh, that's Nothing very fast. So that was essentially a perfect Shadow of the Mountain, so that's lovely. Again, really used to be one of my least favorite quests. But like all of my other least favorite quests, or used to be least favorite quests, uh, once you know what you're doing, it really grows on you. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic. The final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Perhaps completing the trip will shed all of this. Okay. Oh, wow. We're saving a lot of time here. That's really cool. 
do not believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. <sighs> Why did the keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? Okay, so together with the trial, we didn't save time. But overall, really good Shadow of the Mountain. And we have time to save on uh, this as well as the next trial. One of Grand Rock's drills in a mine along the shore. Uh, we need to destroy it. You trying to reason with him. You're welcome to join me. What else do we need? But if I don't see you there, I will reach out when I return. I have something to give. I don't know what we need here. I think we have everything that we need. God God's getting himself into more danger than he realizes. Let's just get this one. Find him. No sign of God out here. Must be. So yeah, we have 50 seconds to save here if we get a good lot of loyalty and we have a lot on next split as well. This place is This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Just like Gringotts. But I'm in the driver's seat this time. How deep will this take? Red Rob's going to be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? That has to be the end up ahead. I'm a little scared. Yes. We have to do this here. Nice. Let's go. First try. Oh, that is lovely. Okay. I hope I can get to Let's take a chill pill here. I want to make sure I don't get spotted here. Okay. I just need to go there. I don't. Need, I just need to not get too far forward. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Round Rock's loyalists. Very good. I won't rest. No. Okay. Good friend. I'm a little low on uh, ancient magic, but it should be fine. Definitely a lot better than last run. Go to Hogwarts map chamber. Very nice. Okay, and we have a minute and 30 here. I hope Professor Fig got my sounds tell him and the possible or correct. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. 
We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Then we need to go to uh, Crackcroft Shore, talk to Fick. You're here. And then... Down here, which we set up like over an hour ago, <laughs> this flu. This must be the place. And time for a very, uh, very tricky and uh, difficult boss fight here. For sure. For sure. So first we uh, use Expelliarmus to curse him. Oh. Okay, that was the one. Phase one. I'm a little scared that I, I didn't see in time whether I had enough ancient magic, uh, which is a little scary, of course. But we'll see. Ouch. There we go. But yeah, not the perfect uh, fight, but but decent. And then we attack because it's the faster cutscene. You are going to help me. How about some sightseeing? Whoops, come on. And that was the fourth and last trial. Now we only have two quests left, and those are two of the hardest quests in the entire game. So that's nice.
think we need to manually split there. Okay, wants mastery. And let me just see, like that. Cousin of Anders, I hope he can help me craft the Keeper's wand. Okay, unskillable cutscene time. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such things. Three minutes ahead right now. In light. And we have time to save both here and on the next one. This could be a pretty big PB. Will never be aligned. Still quite far away from world record. Um, you would let goblins. But I also right now do a lot of unnecessary stuff that I could definitely clean up. Belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? What is that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Mm. Oh no, it's you. If you haven't played the story yourself, you have no idea what that is about. <laughs> if you just watch the speedrun, you're just like, what? Who is this guy even? He's the uh, one of the main antagonists. No, it's not what I wanted. So the hunt begins. I'll make you a land to the slaughter. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I guess we'll just. Where is it? Come on, let me. Let me grab the freaking. What? Okay, whatever. That works. You should have joined me. <clears throat> I wanted to grab the uh, the exploding barrel that was behind them, behind the other grabbable stuff, but just didn't want to get grabbed. Lose a little bit, but should be fine. God damn it. Come on. Really? You were over there all the time? This entire time? Great. Oh, incendio. Oh, no. Had enough. 
Okay, that's that's okay. Not the greatest, but it's okay. Shouldn't lose too much time here, if any at all. Okay, we're gonna lose a little bit of time. Because these sequences here take so much time. And I think we could do that, like that. Finally over. I'll need to send an Alta Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what happened. Go. Okay. I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle would protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although Why do I have three Invis potions? They will in the future. <laughs> able to reach Professor it's maybe a little overkill. I was. Hopefully she so yeah, I have three Invis potions and two... Like, I have two Invis potions and two focus potions. Too many, I think, compared to what I need. So that is a lot of money I can ride out of the run. Technically, let's go. But first, let's focus on the run. Redrock will be pleased with our progress. Here we uh, restart from last save to skip a fairly long animation of Fick lifting out, lifting that uh, thing, the machine, out of the way. That's good. Okay, we got him. Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Nice. This is really good. Hey, one of my least favorite parts of this run, this specific fight here. Nice. 
This is really good. Last goblin fight. Wow, that was fast. Oh, dang it. Okay, that's fine. Nice. Oh, whoops. There we go. Yeah, that was uh, pretty decent. That was pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but yeah, I got a fast troll. So, uh... This is guaranteed PB, and it might be uh, a gold for final repository as well. Like, that was really freaking good. Yeah, I don't know either. I was very surprised by him spawning that early, but I, I, I just thought I did really well on the combat. <laughs> we'll have to, to, to take a look at it again. It might be specific goblins that you have to kill for him to spawn, but I don't know. I thought it was all of the goblins that spawn that you need to kill, but... Yeah, a little weird. Anyway, let's take a quick look at how the run developed. Uh, green all the way through, I just noticed. Very good start. Really good start here. Uh, decent um, gear for the beginning. Lost a little bit of time to cross one, but that's because my PB had really good gear after Hawksmaid. Um, yeah, really good until here. Then I started bleeding a little bit of time. Uh, getting a little bit back actually, so that's nice. Oh yeah, then I had troubles with the uh, with the broom in Earthcut. I have no clue what happened there. It was so weird, very annoying that I lost that minute there. Um, bled a little bit, got a little bit back, bled a little bit. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Rookwood's trial. I I had trouble with the uh, dash. Fine wise, I just had a really freaking good PB there, so not too mad about that. Uh, really good Shadow of Mine and Gobbledygook. Really good, all of this. Just generally very solid and game apart from one mastery could still be better, but it could always be better. <laughs> it feels like might have something to do with the, with Barreled Goblin. Just to guess, no proof. Maybe, maybe. No clue either. I'm Hello, Skillet. Yeah, boy. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds. This is, uh, this is a good run. Good end game, at least. All right. So, so this was a really well executed run, um, but I still have a lot of routing I need to do. Like right now, I do way too much stuff that I don't need to do, um, which is obviously losing me a lot of time. Oh shh.
I don't know if I'm necessarily going for world record right now, but uh, maybe. Oh, whoops. Oh, I completely forgot to... No, this is fine, actually. Yeah, this is fine. I'm... Don't mind what... I'm, I'm, I'm rambling right now. Okay, we need to focus here. We need the... Uh, what's it called? The fire attack here. Okay. I did not stand in the fire or something? Excuse me, game? Uh, no, I'm not. Not yet. Oh, whoops. you not there we go that was not the cleanest but it's fine it works oh we need to get away from the middle here Nice. Yeah, that, could, that 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 fight could have been a little bit cleaner, but that like I didn't get in basically any uh, ancient magic from the third phase because of the um, I didn't stand in the fire for some reason. But well, that was nice. Very good. GG. Very good PV indeed. I'm very happy with that run. Uh, execution wise, I did very few mistakes. So now I just need to polish the route a bit more. Because um, that's a big time loss I have. The major, mo biggest mistake I had was one mastery and uh, earth cut. And then a little bit here, a repository, but, but that was ne negligible, basically. But uh, yeah, really happy with that, about that. GG. Hope you enjoyed the run. I definitely. Did enjoy it a lot. Woo! Very nice.